Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs, and I got my trusty sidekick. Kaden from Growing Up Garage. And this is our transit takeover series. And however, I'm pretty much taking away the transit from Rachel. I really enjoy driving it, especially with all the kids. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm gonna tell you that one thing that I've not been such a fan of is this whole stereo setup that we have in here. Um, I mean, yes, it works and it does its job, but if you look at the new 2021 Transit, they have a really nice touchscreen, fancy dancy radio in there. And I thought, well, if they have it in the 2021, I would love to do it um, in our van. So let's see what's available. So I have some really cool new products, um, not of mine, all which are available online. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a new stereo in this, see how it works and see maybe it's something that you guys wanna do at home. So uh, let's get to work. All right guys, so we had a good old time shopping on Amazon and that's where I found all of these parts. So this is going to replace the stock dash bezel that's in there, allowing it to run a seven inch screen, which I think is gonna be really nice. So we also did the Pioneer stereo that's gonna be the seven inch screen. Um, and what's cool about this is it does have like the Apple CarPlay and the Google and navigation and all that fun stuff. So I'm excited to play around with that as well. So. I guess all we have to do is time to install this. However, you guys saw me struggle with just the trailer white, so I'm not gonna be the one installing this. We're gonna have Kevin do it. He does all of our wiring installs here at Weld Tech Designs. So I'm gonna find him and let's get this thing installed and see how much fun it is, all right? Let's go. Okay. Alright guys, so I would say that that install was completely simple, but however, I didn't really do anything. But I will kind of go over this. So my first impression of this setup is it's definitely going to have not like a factory like finish. You can see that there is some gaps in there and it does not click in all the way as I would like if I was being completely picky. I'm going to tell you that I do really like the overall look of it and it definitely wasn't that hard. Um, the biggest problem was is we didn't buy one of the adapters to connect uh, just the stereo to the um, stock wiring setup. So once we bought that, it was pretty much a plug and play setup, which was really nice. Now, the one thing that I'm definitely, you know, kind of sad about, and I know that Rachel's not going to be super happy about, is we did lose the rear view camera. So, of course, I'm not a stereo guy. I was just looking for an upgrade. So maybe somebody out there knows how to um, adapt the rear view mirror camera to this Pioneer setup. Of course, that's almost gonna be a whole nother video in itself, trying to learn about the Pioneer setup, what it's capable of. I do like having, being able to have Pandora music on it. I like having, you know, the Bluetooth connect to it. So I'm not being able to have my phone in my hands because, you know, we wanna be all hands free these days, which is great. Um, I still probably, I think, the camera thing though, like in thinking about it, it doesn't bother me a ton because I really want to go to a brand motion rear view camera uh, here because I really, you kind of get spoiled once you start driving. Um, when I'm driving the Chevy van and I'm able to look in my rear view mirror and constantly 100% of the time see what is behind me, I think that I really enjoy that much more. It's, it's much more user friendly versus just having it um, when I go in reverse because even looking out the back of this, I definitely can't see out the back of it I honestly use the rear view mirror more for just looking at my kids. So overall, I definitely like um, How this you can see that the tray has definitely gotten a lot bigger So if I want to be able to put stuff in there because the old camera would have been about right here but overall I really like the look of this a lot better than the old stereo. I can't wait to play with it some more. Um, and I don't know, maybe you guys have done some different mods, something similar to this. And if you've run the same setup in there um, and you're not having that kind of little 
fit and finish problem, you know, let me know. I would love to see what product you guys are using. But uh, otherwise, now I guess the true test is just to see how much Rachel likes this and uh, we'll go from there. So this is our transit takeover series. I've kind of taken it over from Rachel right now doing these mods, but uh, thanks guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video and uh, that's it. Comment, subscribe, like button, all that fun stuff. See you guys later.